Morning everybody. How is everybody? Um, I know a lot of people will be off at the Wilderness Gathering, I think it is this weekend. Um, it is Saturday the 16th of August, so we're halfway, well just over halfway through the month. Um, yeah, so what am I doing? Um, I don't know, just a bit of a waffle really. Um, I'm looking after, I've got Emily today, the staff's working, um, so um, it's not good enough to be going out, really. Um, well, I'm not dragging her around anyway, so we're at home, she's watching a bit of telly at the minute. So I thought um, I'd just show you a few things that, um, that I've made recently, um, I don't know if you remember. My axis was, it was okay, but it was a bit loose um, on on my axe. So I've made a new axe sheath. Now, by pure chance, I've made it a left-handed left-handed axe sheath. So if you've got it in your left hand, rather than it. A, a, a right hand. It was a simple mistake. I just got the excuse me. I just got the um, the template the wrong way round. So I can make a right-handed one if I want to. But um, yeah, it is Conker Brown. It's a new dye that I was trying, which um, I don't know whether I like it or not. To be perfectly honest. Um, it is a little bit, it's a little bit loose, but it's a lot better than, I'll get my old one, I'll get my old one out. It's a lot better than that one was. Um, I've put this with the, this is the first axe that I, I bought, I think it was £4 off, um, off the market. Um, it doesn't it doesn't fit on here properly but I can always just put another hole in this one just to just to keep it on but, um, so yeah new axe sheath which is great I'm quite happy with that a um, few little bits of improvement that I could do on it but um, I might make another one I don't know also made a I, I don't really know what you what you call it it's, it's just like a instead of wrapping paracord around it I've got leather around it with a bit of paracord on the back um, just to protect it you know if you like, if you overshoot a, a log or whatever just to protect, protect the, the shaft so is it a shaft protector uh, I, I don't know I don't know what you call it but yeah that's in the same leather and obviously in focus I've tooled it a bit with that tool that I've got this it's okay um, I'm starting to get the hang of the of the tooling also made a belt loop for my axe so now I can hang it on the on my belt. Same again, tooled it. I've not finished stitching it yet, purely because it's a pain in the backside getting the needle through this side and then trying to get it back through again. So um, I can see why people rivet them although I'm not quite sure how you'd get the rivet in and then get the thing on top of on top of it uh, it's, I don't know I guess you get there in the end I suppose um, I was watching um, watching one of Lee um, LB 
custom knives. Um, he was doing, I think he was doing a sheath for somebody, I think it was. I think it was a sheath. And um, he'd got a nice little mallet, um, which looks a lot better than the little rubber thing and the little hammer hammer that I've got. So I think he got it. I think he got it his from eBay as well, but I got mine from eBay. So now I've got a little proper, little proper, ma proper mallet. And I tell you what, ten quid. Well, nine ninety nine, and it came from China, Hong Kong, Shen, somewhat or other, out that way anyway. Um, and it, it took took about ten days to get here, which I didn't think was bad, and that was including a weekend. So you know, but absolutely, much nuts. I love it. I think it's great. I might even actually see if I can get a bigger one because I think they do do a they do like three sizes. Like this is the small one, then they do another one, and then they do a bit bigger one. I think. But you know that's it's aluminium, and it does it does come apart. You know you've got like three bits of aluminium there and then like a nearly a skateboardy type wheel you know that goes that way but yeah I was well impressed with that and while I was scooting around on eBay more tools for tooling. Oh no, that's me. That's the one I originally had. I won't, I won't go through them all because there's there's lots of them. There's twenty I think it was twenty of them, all different kinds. That one's for trying to get the light on that as best as I can when it focus. There we go. That's for doing basket weave. So I got them. And they actually didn't come from China, they came from they came from the UK. They've originally come from China, I should imagine. Well anyway. Um Yeah, so that's more or less it. Oh no, it isn't. I have, I'll have to take this off to, to show you, um, what else? oh I managed, I've actually, I got a, I got one of my, um, my Laplander sheaves and I put it on eBay, um, and, and that sold within a couple of days, I was quite surprised at that, and um, the person didn't even make an offer. He paid full, full asking price, which was good. Um, yeah, so getting, like I say, I got my tools, <clears throat> and um, I thought I want to. I've always fancied doing a belt, and I did a belt. Well, I started doing a belt, um, and I cut it a little bit too short, so I never really. I got as far as dyeing it, um, and that was it, um, because it was too short, so I didn't go no further. Anyway, I eventually I bought another um, belt blank, and I've done a belt, so with my new tool. So I just thought I'll, I'll show you this now. So we've got a hold that screen so I can see properly. That's it. We've got a brass buckle on it, and um, the brass buckle actually came from an old handbag. It's inch and a half. 
sewn in belt keep and I've done the try and get it as best the best it's like basket weave Now it's done. Oh, better. I can see myself now. Um, what I wanted was the 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 center. This center bit. I wanted it to be a bit lighter, and then the edges a bit darker, which is hard. Let me see if I can get a bit more light on it. Let's see if that does any helps any. It has kind of worked a little bit, but not as much as I wanted, but it still works really nice. So, like I say, I've stitched a belt keeping on it. I've just used um, two tools on there. I've used the basket weave tool, and I think they call it a ver vernier. Vernier, Vernier, or something like that. Yes. No, it's not that one, it's the smaller one. So these are the two that I've used on it. I've used that one. And that one. So this one, this square one, the belt all wrapped up in my line, has done the has done this centre this centre bit. And then this one has done the like the the archy bit and then I think that little round bit I mean, uh, that little round bit in the centre there at the very tip is is a cedar I think that's what they call them and it's basically like a whole like a flower the centre of a flower now it's very flimsy it's two two and a half mil I think it is. Now I was going to line it. Um, I had planned to stitch, uh, you know, stitching all the way around and lining it with some um, calf skin, but I haven't got a bit of calf skin long enough to do it because the belt is like the belt is like maybe a foot too long. But I'd sooner have it too long than too short, like the last one. So, but yeah, that's that. So that's what I've been doing crafty-wise, making a belt and those other few bits and bobs. Um, I went. Where did we go last weekend? We went to go outdoors last weekend looking for a tent. We need a tent for next year. For the bushcraft show. Because both of them want to come. So we're going to do a weekend. And the new venue looks quite good. Looking at the internet. You know, looking on Google. Um, what do you call it? Google Maps. And the, the site's actual... Um, own website as well. The, the campsite that it's at, uh, what's it called? Beehive, Beehive Farm Woodland Lakes, looks quite nice. Um, with it being, <coughs> excuse me, with it being a 
proper campsite. Toilets should be okay. Showers should be okay. Um, looks like there's plenty of um, water thingies, water standpipes, you know, for getting your drinking water and, and what have you. It looks like there's plenty of that. There's a shop. I'm not sure if there's a cafe as well on, on the actual site. I did have a quick look, but there's a shower block as well, um, and a nice, I think it was like a horseshoey shaped lake for all you canoers. Um, so yeah, it looks good, looks like it can be good. So I think we've, or I've decided on a trend, um, Van Gogh. Omega 350 I think it is I'm, I'm airing towards but I'm not sure yet so I've got plenty of time for that yet five six or about eight eight months something like that I think so I need to get everything together um, of what what we're gonna need um, I mean I'd me myself I'd be all right I'd just sling my hammock up in woods under it, under the tarp, and that would be me for the weekend. But obviously, those pair not want to do that. I don't think. So uh, yeah, it'll be a matter of, of sorting all that out. Um, so yeah, that'll be good. Anyway, I think I've probably waffled on for long enough. Um, not really talked about hope, but talked about a lot if that makes sense. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else. No, I don't think there is. Anything else to tell people? Bought one of them. Cutlery holder from oh no advertising there three quid and what I had planned to do was make a cooker out of it um, but it won't it won't fit in me water bottle pouch. Which is what I thought, I was hope, kind of hoping it, it would, but it's a little bit too, not by, not by much, by, you know, but it could probably go in this one. It'll go in this one, he says. I haven't tried this. So live on camera, it may well not. Yeah, it does. It'll go in this one, but um, the other one that I've got, the multicam one that I've got, um, is is padded on the inside, so it makes it just that little bit narrower, so that won't quite go in. So I'm rethinking because I don't think that looks. It's, I think it's the coyote tan that they call it. It's not quite a coyote tan, I don't know. Well, uh, I don't know what coyote tan is. Because um, it varies from company to company. Um, so I might put that on the other end of my one back. I don't know yet. But anyway, guys, um, those of you that are at the Wilderness Gathering, I hope you have a good time, or have had a good time, or are having a good time. Uh, weather doesn't look too great up here in Derbyshire, so it might be, where, where is it, where is it, Wiltshire I think isn't it, I think it's Wiltshire, Wiltshire. 
Um, maybe the weather will be a bit better down there. But, uh, yeah, anyway. I'm rambling now. Um, so, um, take care guys, have fun, and stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.